What if a large asteroid was headed to Earth? There have been many movies and stories about the end of the world. And while some of these stories about how the Earth will meet some apocalyptic fate are pure fantasy, nothing can be more real or terrifying as the threat of a killer asteroid, one that is big enough and moving fast enough that its impact on the Earth would be the end of everything as we know it. Everyone has heard about the asteroid that wiped out the dinosaurs 65 million years ago. Imagine sunrise on the last day of the Mesozoic era, 66 million years ago. Shafts of sunlight rake through the swamps and forests along the coast of what is now Mexico's Yucatan Peninsula. As the dinosaurs and other living creatures squawk, buzz, and stir to life, an asteroid the size of a mountain is hurtling toward Earth at about 40,000 miles or 64,000 kilometers an hour. For a few fleeting moments, a fireball appears streaking through the sky. It is far bigger and brighter than the sun. An instant later, the asteroid slams into Earth with an explosive yield of over 100 trillion tons of trinitrotoluene. Upon crashing into the planet, the impact penetrates Earth's crust to a depth of several miles and gouging a crater more than 115 miles or 185 kilometers across, while vaporizing thousands of cubic miles of rock. It creates a huge dust plume that completely covers the globe, blocking out all sunlight. Temperatures in the vicinity are so high that it literally cooks anything living alive within seconds. The event then sets off a chain of global catastrophes. Is it possible this could happen again? And what could we do to stop an asteroid that would threaten most, if not all, life? We're not talking about a small meteor, but a very large asteroid about six miles wide. The difference between an asteroid and a meteor is that an asteroid is a much bigger rock than a meteor, but not as big as a planet or a moon. But a rock traveling towards the Earth at 30,000 kilometers an hour it doesn't have to be big to create major damage. Consider for a moment the Chelyabinsk meteor. The explosion of the meteor, which occurred above the city of Chelyabinsk, helped bring the asteroid threat into a new realm of reality. The Chelyabinsk meteor caused damage to over 7,200 buildings and injured around 1,500 people. And it was only 20 meters or 65 feet in diameter. Now just imagine for a moment an object much bigger could be a million to a trillion times more powerful, but it would need to be a much bigger rock. An asteroid is big enough that it is sometimes called a minor planet or planetoid. There are millions of asteroids orbiting the sun, and some of these asteroids can be hundreds of kilometers wide. The asteroid Ceres, sometimes referred to as a dwarf planet, is 940 kilometers or 584 miles wide. However, scientists estimate that an asteroid would have to be just 96 kilometers or about 60 miles wide to completely eradicate all life on our planet. We have found 90% of the one kilometer or larger asteroids. But it is estimated that there are tens to hundreds of thousands more out there that we cannot see, many hidden by the sun. One day we might wake up to the news that a global killer asteroid is headed our way. It is not a matter of if it will happen, but only a matter of when. In real life, asteroids and comets that could hit Earth are called NEOs, or Near Earth Objects. And these objects do pose a threat to life on the planet. Unfortunately, not all of the dangers are detectable. In fact, scientists sometimes only discover some of these nearby space rocks after the objects have already swung by and missed the planet. So if the end came suddenly by an asteroid, there is a good chance that we wouldn't know it was coming until it was too late. However, if we did have a warning, there might be little we could do about it. Deflecting an asteroid would have to be the first methods attempted if a giant space rock was discovered to be on a collision course with Earth. There have been some interesting ideas that have been thought of that might actually work to put an asteroid off its course with the Earth. Some of you may have seen the movie Armageddon, 
that is about an asteroid the size of Texas that is headed towards the Earth. The idea to save mankind is to drill a deep hole and drop a nuclear weapon into the drilled hole, therefore fracturing and splitting the giant rock in two. But in order to blow up an asteroid the size of the one in the film, the bomb would have to explode with the same amount of energy as produced by the sun. This idea just wouldn't be possible. And even if you could create such a powerful weapon, it would be more dangerous than the asteroid itself. But if the universe is going to play hardball, then we should pull out our big guns as well, nuclear weapons. But we're probably not going to destroy it, as previously mentioned. The idea would be to move it off course. We also need to keep in mind that we are dealing with an object headed right towards us and traveling at very high speed. Hitting the asteroid with all of our nuclear weapons might only turn the giant space rock into a bunch of smaller rocks. Most of them might burn up in the atmosphere, while other would impact the planet's surface. It would be like cosmic buckshot with all the debris still headed in our direction. It is possible that the nuclear blast's intense radiation could vaporize a section of the surface of the asteroid, causing it to eject surface material into space like countless tiny rockets which might move it off course. There are other ideas to divert the asteroid using kinetic energy by bouncing a smaller object off of the asteroid to change its course. Other plans involve landing a vessel on the surface of the asteroid, digging in and firing up some roof-mounted chemical rockets to push the near-Earth object steadily away from a cataclysmic rendezvous with the planet. To many people, gravitational tractor may sound like some made-up technology, but the premise is fairly simple. Every object in the universe exerts a gravitational pull, including asteroids and man-made spacecraft. Gravity may be one of the weakest forces in the universe, but is also the most ready to use since all you need is a little mass. Therefore, it makes sense to unleash it against asteroids. Theoretically, all we'd have to do is navigate a hefty robot close to the asteroid and tow it away with the gentle pull of gravity. And while all these ideas sound like they might work, it may turn out that there might be nothing we can do about an asteroid impact. And if you're going to die via an asteroid, it will be the wind and shockwave that gets everyone first. If a large enough asteroid explodes in the air before hitting the Earth, the resulting shockwave could blast winds powerful enough to flatten cities. In a computer simulation, where scientists ran a computer model where they simulated the impact of 50,000 asteroids, from the very tiny to 400 meter monsters all over the globe, 60% of all asteroid deaths were caused by the wind and the pressure from the impact. Giant asteroids are out there and the sun may be hiding many more. On 24 December 2004, a team found an 885 feet diameter hunk of dark space rock was heading our way with a 1 in 25 chance of smashing into Earth in 2036. The ominous spinning rock was soon named Apophis after an Egyptian god, the Uncreator. But the Jet Propulsion Laboratory, which tracks NEO orbits, soon refined the prediction down to a much less threatening 1 in 250,000. That still means Apophis will pass between us and our satellites and be visible to the naked eye. The next time the asteroid will pass close to Earth will be on October 26, 2028. It is predicted it will be about two and a half times the moon's distance from Earth at its closest point. It is estimated to be about a mile wide and is traveling at a speed of 48,000 kilometers or 30,000 miles per hour. But you can rest easy. NASA says that it will not affect the planet in any way. Bennu is another asteroid that whizzes past Earth every few years. In fact, there is a chance, although a slim one, that the asteroid will collide with Earth in the near future, less than 200 years from now. Bennu has a shape that looks a bit like a spinning top. It is roughly 500 meters or 1,640 feet in diameter and orbits the Sun once every 1.2 years or 436.604 days. Every six years or so, it comes very close to Earth. 
Although its small size, the damage it would create if it impacted the planet would be catastrophic. And even though these things are flying around out there close to our planet, so far, we're in no grave danger. NASA estimates that it has found 90% of the kilometer-sized dinosaur-killing asteroids in our general vicinity. The medium-sized asteroids on the order of 450 feet in diameter are harder to spot but can still cause significant damage. The more we keep an eye on them, the more we can devise engineering solutions to push a deadly asteroid off a collision course. We hope you enjoyed this video. What would you do if you found out there was an asteroid headed to Earth? Let us know in the comments. And if you enjoyed this video, click the subscribe link to get notified of new videos. We appreciate you and want to thank you for watching. Until next time, follow your destiny.